I want to share with you the intent of my new book, Salvation Not Purchased, Overcoming the Ransom Idea to Rediscover the Original Gospel Teaching. In this book, I take issue with the very common idea that salvation was purchased, purchased with the blood of Jesus, an idea that assumes God to be a harsh judge who demands payment in blood, something that goes right against what Jesus teaches. Jesus pictures God as a loving father, and he reasons about God on the basis of a loving human father. He says, which of you, if your son asked for bread, would give him a stone? How much more will the Heavenly Father give good things to those who ask? Jesus wants us to actually understand God as a loving Father and not as a punishing judge or an authoritarian king. And what does a loving parent want? Not payment, but rather just to see the growth of his or her children. And this teaching on loving fathers leads to another principle we see in Jesus' message, his optimism about human possibilities. He says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. This has to mean that there are some people who are pure in heart. Jesus, in fact, throws open the door of salvation to all the honest of heart. And this is one of the things that I seek to rediscover in my book. It is true that the message of Jesus dying for our sins can be found in the letters of Paul. And I look at these metaphors of Paul and at his teachings. But I am very concerned about the doctrines that have been piled on later and which say something that Paul himself never said, that the death of Jesus somehow persuaded God to offer forgiveness and salvation. No, the Father himself loves you, Jesus says. This means that God does not need to be persuaded. God is like the abundantly forgiving father in the parable of the prodigal son who goes out of his way to forgive his wayward son. I also am worried about the ransom theology that overlooks a lot of what Paul taught about Christ as life giver, as source of spiritual transformation, and even as the creator of this very world. Jesus has been the life giver from the very beginning. His saving power turns out to be the same thing as his creator power. Jesus saves because of who he is, not because of what was done to him. This is one of the messages of my book, Salvation Not Purchased, and I invite you to dive in and think for yourself as you read it.